everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Live. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to jump on if you're watching the replay. Thank you. Anytime that you watch it, I do appreciate it. All right, I see a few of us jumping on. I am going to pull up my iPad. Hopefully I can see your comments a little bit better. Yep. Now let's just make sure that it's on mute because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. <laughs> Hi, Dinah. How are you? Thanks for joining me. Hi, Lisa. Oh, my buddy, Lisa. Good to see you. All right, you guys. So everybody's jumping on. Hello, another Lisa. Good to see you guys. All right. So today I did not put the dogs up. They are roaming free in the house. <laughs> we'll see what's going to happen. I have schnauzers. If you haven't joined me before, I have schnauzers. And they're very yappy. We'll see. I'm going to give them a, a free pass today to see. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad that you have joined me. Thank you for sharing, Dinah. I do appreciate shares. Um, when you share a video on Facebook, it helps us reach new people, find new customers, and that's the whole point for us, right? We, uh, many of us um, are doing Stampin' Up! as our job, supporting our family, so we're always trying to find new stampers. So thanks, I do really appreciate that. All right, you guys, so here we are, Friday. I've got stuff all over the place here. Um, today we're gonna do birthday cheer birthday cheer. It's such a cute set. I've really enjoyed coloring these guys. They're great for using your blends. And today I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different blends on here. It's a lot. Have you guys started collecting your blends? It's uh, it, they're really great to have those Stampin' Blends. They're only $4.50 each. And if you buy them together, the dark and the light, they're $9. I think that's very affordable. Um, okay, so let's see. What do I want to tell you first? So much to tell you. I hope you guys have seen my new class. When I flip the camera around in a minute, I'm going to show you my new Fable Friends class. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do have a PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com. It's got all the projects, information, details that we're going to do today. This one in particular has quite, <laughs> quite a few measurements that you'll need. So you can hop over there. Hi, Renee. Um, and grab it. When I'm done, I will put all the links and stuff here in the, dis the uh, video description. Um, but you are welcome to that. And everything, my little announcements and stuff are always linked in here too, so you can find them there. Um, next week, just a little, if you're looking forward to next week, um, the Celebration Coordination products come out March 1st. These are framelits, there's a punch and a stamp set that all coordinate with all the celebration items we've been collecting over the last two months. Um, and if you love framelits, you're gonna want some of these. There's framelits for the cupcake set, there's framelits for the frog set, there's framelits for the lily, and framelits for the new painted seasons, all right? Now today, hopefully I can remember, I um, want to point out to you as we're creating um, what you can get that will earn you free celebration items. You know, it just takes $50 to earn a free celebration item. And if your order gets up to 100, then you've either got two celebration items or one level two, um, which is very easy to do. I'm sure all of you know that. Um, so hopefully today I can remember to point that out. I do want to uh, make sure, you know what, I've got two of these. I gotta check that. I do wanna make sure to remind you one last time about um, this month's tutorial bundle. I offer these free with a $50 order, um, stampinup.com order, okay? This is different from other things that I do. Um, if you place an order, either online or in person with me and order Stampin' Up products, and your order is $50 right now, not only do you get that celebration item, but you're gonna get this PDF for free. Look, it's like 70 pages. But you can also subscribe and become a subscriber to my tutorial bundle. And February is the only month you can do that, February and July. Um, so if you're interested in subscribing and getting it delivered to your inbox every month on the 1st, um, you only have until next Thursday to do that. Um, when you subscribe, you get the six month for free. So if you like my PDFs, if you buy PDFs from me, that might be a great option for you. So make sure 
that you click on that information on my blog to figure out if that's for you or not because after February 28th, I cannot sell the subscription anymore. Here's my project for this month. You might have seen it. It's so cute. It's a little, it holds little tea bags. It's a secret. I'm not supposed to share it, but I share it with you guys every week. <laughs> and I actually designed next month's project already and it's so cute. You're going to love it. All right, let's do some prizes. Um, I give away prizes every week for sharing the video and also over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. At the bottom, there's a little widget where you just enter your information and I ask you silly questions like this week it's what's your favorite Stampin' Up! color? Um, so I pick from both places. So you have two chances to win. And last week I was giving away, let's see, the Incredible Like You. So our winners for last week are Debbie Schultz. Schult and Debbie Green. It's backwards, I know. Debbie Schultz and Debbie Green. Ladies, please send me your, your mailing address. Please email me or message me so that I can get these out to you next week, okay? It's got a bolt of that Calypso ribbon. I also did a Facebook Live on Tuesday um, and I was giving away Strong and Beautiful, the bundle with that ribbon that's on back order right now. And Lisa Vanderland, she's one of my downline. You are the random winner. At least I have your mailing address. So I will get that out to you. So thank you for sharing. I do greatly appreciate that. This week, I've got two Vibrant Vases stamp sets. You know, I have this stamp set. It's new in the Occasions catalog. It coordinates with the Varied Vases stamp set and the Vase Builder Punch in the annual catalog, but I haven't used it yet. And I was just, as I was pulling these out today for prizes, I thought, you know what? I really need to uh, play with that because that is beautiful. Um, if you've seen the other, um, what's it called again? Va um, va varied, va varied Vases. <laughs> Lots of brain power required today. Um, varied Vases, uh, it was designed by one of our Million Dollar Achievers, Mary Fish, and it's a wonderful set. So now we've got even more. So anyway, here are the two prizes, one for someone who shares and one for someone who in enters the raffle copter as well, okay? Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, but one last thing before I flip the camera around. Um, as you know, I do three free make and takes every week. Um, if you place an order, I'm using the host code that's connected to Facebook Friday. I send you the three projects we do on Friday for free. I mail them to you completely for free. Um, this is last week's where I use the new um, celebration items. I always make a cute little tag to throw in there and then your make and takes with your envelopes or whatever you need is in there. Um, and I mail those out typically on the Wednesday following. So if you put in an order this week, this weekend, anytime before Monday, and it's a minimum of $30, then I'm gonna mail this to you, except the, this week's pro uh, projects on Wednesday, okay? So a fun little thank you from me. And it's a great time to order because not only do you get those things for free, but you can also get those celebration items for free, which, as my friend Belinda says, if it's free, it's for me. I don't know if she's watching today. She's one of my longtime teacher friends and now she's on my team. She always says, if it's free, it's for me. So we should all adopt that, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Um, so hopefully I don't hang up on you. I'm always worried about that. And then don't look, don't open your eyes because it's gonna be a little, a little crazy here for a minute. Hopefully I don't drop anything. One of these days I'll get really sophisticated with my moving around of the camera. All right, so you can see what we're making today. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about those in a few minutes, but let's see, I wanna move that over to make sure that it is centered and up. But first, I wanna tell you about my Easter class, and I'm calling it my Easter class, you guys. Because usually Stampin' Up! will have one stamp set in the Occasions catalog that's all Easter. And they really didn't have that this year. And I love to do Easter classes. And I always get a really good response. You guys really love Easter classes too. So I chose Fable Friends. And I'm, I'm really actually glad this year that it's not just Easter. Because these projects can be Easter. They could just be general, you know, fun spring presents, treats for the office, whatever. Glad we're friends. And then even baby, like these could be baby shower 
um, favors. So that I designed all, they're all 3D projects and they feature also this gingham gala paper. So we're all gonna hold our fingers, we're gonna cross our fingers and say prayers that this does not sell out and go on back order. <laughs> because those of you who are watching, if you're a demonstrator, you know we've been dealing with some crazy um, back order issues and our stuff's just flying off the shelf. We can't keep it in stock and um, it's just beautiful and I want you guys to have it. So anyway, this class will come well, there's several options, you know, one that has a stamp set, one that doesn't have the stamp set. And my plan is to also include a pack of the gingham paper and a bolt of ribbon so you can make lots of them. Now, I'm putting a caveat on this class that if for some reason something sells out and we can't do it, I might change some things out. What I do have is enough paper probably for everybody to have at least one sheet at this point. Um, so... Just know that you'll get pretty much a lot of a lot of bang for your buck. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to ha include. I know that's really sketchy for me to say. Hopefully, right? I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed. Um, we will make it work. But you'll get all six make and takes, the paper, the ribbon, and also this time I've recorded um, a video to go along with this class. I show you how to color each of these. Look at this guy. That's <laughs> so funny. Um, how to color these with your blends, um, how to cut and assemble and all of that. So there's a 30 minute video embedded within the PDF. So not only do you have the step-by-step -step directions, but you also have that video. Um, you know, talking about shading and coloring and how to do all of that. Um, so if you get the first option that includes a stamp set, you get a celebration item for free also. If you add on the blends that you, that I suggest, then you get two celebration items. So you can really, you know, get a lot of free stuff. And I am paying for the shipping and the tax on those, so you're just getting them at catalog price. And if you get all of them, you're even saving more. So if you're interested, if that um, intrigues you, make sure you go check it out, okay? Uh, March 15th is the deadline. I will have them in the mail by March 22nd, and Easter is April 21st. It's super late this year, so, um, You'll have it in plenty of time. Debbie, it's all on that registration page. You can see it listed there. Um, so hop over there and look, okay? And if I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I put that information in there, but if not, message me, okay? Let's stamp, you guys ready? I love, love, love today's projects. This is a, a, a bundle that did, did not immediately jump out at me um, when I first saw it. I did like these, but I was like, mm, I'm not sure I can do with all of those. Well, now I know, now that I've played with it, and I'm like, you guys have got to get this. The bundle, when you buy the framelits and the stamp set together, you actually save 10% um, as opposed to buying them separately. So $45, and you're only $5 away from a celebration item. So what I would recommend is to throw in a set of blends or add in another one of these stamp sets on the other projects. I'm using some other stamp sets that I'll point out to you in a little while. And then you might even be close to $100, which would earn you either a level two item or two level ones. So there's quite a bit of free celebration things up for grabs. Now this is the project we did on Tuesday. Did you guys see it? And I try to take a little video, you know, a little boomerang video to put up. <laughs> and only I cut out the bottom part, which I think is the best part. But anyway, if you like this, make sure you hop back over to Tuesday's post and um, the video is there. Now today we're gonna do three car two cards in a box. These two I actually made for swaps with my team. My um, team swaps every month, even though majority of my team no is no longer local. Majority of my team is spread across the United States. I have an amazing swap coordinator. Her name's Anne-Marie, and she coordinates swaps every month. She's like a, a beast, a swap beast. She's amazing. She's super organized and gets everybody where they need to go and doing what they need to do. So we swap every month, and our theme this last month was uh, birthday. So that's what these two are. And you know if I did them for a swap, they're not overly complicated. So um, these would be great to make kind of, you know, a batch of 10, 15, and then you could just have them in your drawer ready for your birthdays. All right, and then I'll show you what's in that box in a little while. Okay, man, I'm very chatty today. Chatty, chatty, chatty. All right, let's pull over my first tray. Look at all those blends. Isn't that beautiful? 
Now remember, all of this is on the PDF, you guys. I'm not gonna tell you sizes and stuff um, while we stamp right now. You can go over and get that PDF and everything is there. You might have seen yesterday or day before yesterday, I asked Pineapple Punch or Lovely Lipstick. And you guys, literally it was like 90% of you said Lovely Lipstick, which I was kind of shocked about. I like Pineapple Punch and what I really like is this color combination together. These are warm colors. And my, if my mom stops by, she'll be very proud of me. Those are warm colors. Real Red, Pumpkin Pie, and Pineapple Punch. Um, but you guys were like, nope, no thank you, Pineapple Punch. So we are going with Lovely Lipstick. Now, I recorded a clean video of this earlier today, and I didn't say this in the video, so it's a secret between all of us, okay? Remember a couple of weeks ago when I was using the gold shimmer paint, and I didn't know, if I thought it had carried over. I'm still using projects that from that week where I used the gold shimmer paint. Hello. Um, I made these in January, so please forgive me, but guess what? I have found an awesome substitution and it looks just the same. Okay. All right. So let's see, what do we want to do first? We're going to do that splatter because it needs to dry. So this is the stitched rectangles, uh, framelit. It is not the biggest one. If you have the stitched rectangles, you know, there are a ton of them in there. Um, and I've, for a lot of my projects, I've been giving measurements, but this one, I can just tell you it's the second largest. So it's not, um, the one that's like a card front. It is the second largest. Okay. So that's what I did there with whisper white. Now we're going to take, you know what, let's, let me do my stamp first. And I want to point out to you guys, you know how sometimes I cut my stamps, um, for a project and people kind of lose their mind. I want you to notice, can you guys see this one has been cut. I cut it apart, um, to do the hooray and yippee by itself. And look, I've put it back together and it stamps just fine. So as someone somewhere along the way said, they're not jewels, they're rubber stamps. And if you wanna cut them, just cut them. They go back together like a little puzzle. Look, ta-da. Okay, so don't be afraid to cut your stamps. Now we're gonna take Daffodil Delight, okay? And I'm gonna get a little bit of it here on my block and then I'm going to take, this is still current and you can still get this. And this would be great to add on to your bundle. That would definitely get you to $50 to get your free item. Champagne mist shimmer paint. And you guys, this stuff lasts forever because all you need really is like a dot. I always use too much. That's probably too much. Really all you need is a dot. Now I have um, an aqua painter that is strictly for my shimmer paints. You can see it's kind of gross, but that's because once you get your, um, your, that glitter into your aqua painter, it's going to stay there. So find an aqua painter or order an aqua painter that is strictly for your glimmer paints. Now look at that. What does it look like? It looks like the gold shimmer paint. Someone um, suggested that, and I don't remember who it was, um, suggested mixing it with an, a reinker or ink from your ink pad. And that's what I did. And I played around with it and I'm like, wow, awesome. So, all right, we can change the color of our shimmer paints and turn them to whatever we want. All right, so I, I squeezed a little bit of water in here, mixing it around. And I'm gonna take my lid and just flick it like that, just a little bit. And I, when I say just a little bit, I get carried away and do way too much. <laughs> but it looks good. Now look, that's how much I have left, right? Way, I put way too much on there, but that's okay. Because if you were gonna make a bunch like I did when I made the swap cards, you'd have plenty. Thanks you guys for sharing. I see all of you, don't think I don't notice you. I do appreciate your sharing my video. All right, setting that aside, Let's color our hat. Now I am using Memento Black, Tuxedo Black, I think is what it's called. This is my go-to black ink, and I only use stays on if I'm gonna watercolor, but we're gonna use Stamp and Blend. Doesn't that just stamp, like it's just such a big, bold image. I really like it. All right, let's talk about the colors. I wanted my colors to be rainbow order, but I didn't want it to be primary rainbow. So I'm starting with dark, lovely lipstick, um, dark pumpkin pie, dark daffodil delight, 
red, orange, yellow, green, <laughs> dark, call me clover. Do you guys know the rainbow song? I'm not going to sing it. Red, orange, yellow, green. Then we need blue, which is um, light Bermuda Bay. So these were all the darks. I did light Bermuda Bay. And then we've got dark Highland Heather, and we're ending with light Lovely Lipstick. Now, all of this is listed on that PDF. So if that went in one ear and out the other, don't worry. Just go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and get that PDF. All right, now I am going to use the bullet tip on my blends. I find I have much better control in small spaces with my bullet tip. And like you saw on my other card, there's so many different combinations that you could do. You know, you could do like ombre, different blues from dark to light, or um, light to dark pinks and reds, um, warm colors, cool colors, uh, whatever, you know, whatever you want. I would love to just stamp this little hat and just color, you know, just try lots of different colors. Now, if you don't know the rainbow order, you need to Google rainbow order kindergarten song. <laughs> because when I taught kindergarten, that was one of the things we had to teach. And um, you'll never forget it. <laughs> you'll never forget it. Um, I still sing it and my girls who are much older now than kindergarten are like, mom, so embarrassing. All right, so now Highland Heather. And then we've got two segments left. And that last one is tiny. So we're just gonna use this light, lovely lipstick to do both. All right, there we go. Now one other thing that I wanna do to this is take my Wink of Stella. And hi, Denise. Denise and I ran into each other at Walmart yesterday. It's always fun. All right, and then I'm just gonna go, I wanted to just kind of add a streak through here. So I'm gonna put it on the yellow. And you know what I think after I look at this today, I think I might've used pineapple punch. I think that would have been a better yellow, but oh well. Um, now this is a fussy cut. I told you there were framelits and I don't know why they didn't include a framelit for this. They didn't ask me when they were designing it. <laughs> so I don't know. But we have scissors and we have hands and we can just fussy cut it. And just like my kindergartners, this is a big bold image that they could have easily cut out. Just stay on the outside of that black line. You know the drill, I tell you guys this every time. Stay on the outside of the black line, leaving a little white cloud around the outside and then the eye will only see the black line I promise all right so there we go now hopefully this is drying we'll set those aside and put the rest of the card together yes easy peasy who said that Judy you're right easy peasy now where's my stuff here it is I have been this week I've been designing guys so I've been designing for all of my classes and Facebook Fridays and my stuff is all over the place. This is a Whisper White scalloped border from the Seasonal Layers Framelits. If you know me, you know I use it like one ever, out of three projects because I love it so much. Now this is a strip of Lovely Lipstick Designer Series Paper from the In Colors DSP stack. And I just cut a little banner there on the end. If you have your banner triple punch or your um, tailored tag punch, just use that. But my tailored tag punch is on the next tray, I believe. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we're gonna put this here with dimensionals. And then we're gonna put this little strip of paper right here. Now, if you guys put in your order by Monday at midnight, you'll get all of this. This will all come to you. All you'll need is the stamp and the framelit. So if you like this and you wanna order it, you'll have three projects to go with it. Okay, I'm talking and I'm not thinking. Last thing, last thing, that's it, it's so easy. One dimensional and you put it there. I told you, if I do, if I do it as a swap, 
you know it's going to be easy because if you've ever made swaps, you know, whew, it's crazy. Now, what do you guys think? Simple but cute. Now, one thing I did different over here on the one that you guys didn't like, the pineapple punch, is I added a bow, but I'm totally out of that ribbon. So it's bowless, but that's okay, right? Still cute. What do you guys think? Easy card, right? Super easy. Build up your, start building up your um, stamp and blends. So you'll have these colors um, individually. Remember they're 450 each together, like a dark and a light, which I think you do need. They're $9. So you don't save any money if you buy them singly or together, but you only have to enter one number if you order them together. All right, and I think this was our best tip for this card. What do you guys think? The Shimmer Paint and the Daffodil Delight ink create gold shimmer paint, yes. All right, let me move my tray over and I will grab our second project. You guys are quiet, very quiet. So let's see, which one do we wanna make? Okay, here's a 3D project for my 3D people. I know I have card people and 3D people. I love both, so I try to do both. All right, so here it is, and it is a fun way to use that framelit. I told you when I first looked at these framelits, I was quite intimidated, thinking, whoa, how are we gonna do that? Well, on Tuesday, I showed you one way. Now I'm gonna show you another way. And my third project, I'm gonna show you even a third way, okay? Okay, so here it is. It's a box. Can you guess what's inside of it? I'm sure someone could guess. Little Debbie. Uh, little Debbie is my go-to, you guys. I don't eat them ever, but I love to go down the aisle with Little Debbies so I can get inspiration. Here's what it looks like, birthday cakes. I love when they come individually wrapped like this, but this time I decided to do two. I wanted a bigger box. So if you wanna know where you got these, don't email me. Please don't email me about these because right under the picture on my blog today, I have a link. It's called a Snack Finder. I think it was Carla maybe who told me about the Snack Finder years ago. You enter your zip code and it'll tell you what stores in your area have the little Debbie snacks you're looking for, okay? So don't email me about the little Debbies. If you wanna know, I got them at Walmart. Okay. Let's do this first. We're going to make this part of it first because it needs to do some drying. And I need to get just a little bit of a drink. Hold on just a sec. Whew. I work from home, you guys, so I don't talk at all, all day. But then I turn on Facebook Live and I'm like, Whew. I'm chatty Kathy and I'm thirsty. Okay, so we're going to start with a piece of Whisper White that is... And I wasn't going to tell you the measurements, but I'll just tell you. See right here, all of these measurements. Um, and I have corrected this one, by the way. Um, this one is two by four and seven eighths. Okay. All right. So let's do our die cutting first. And then I'm going to tell you about all these little squares over here that look like trash. No sweets for me. Katherine Anderson, you know what, <laughs> you guys? Yesterday, I so I've been trying to do the low carb keto diet, which I have been doing for about seven years now, but I've really been trying to stick to it, you know, because I'm going to Greece and I'm going to um, the Caribbean this summer, so you guys know. Um, let me stop my story real quick and just tell you, I've made the paper a little bit longer because I didn't like how I cut it real short here. I wanted it to go to the edge of the box. So that's why it's a little bit longer. So anyway, I found this recipe online, you guys, and it was, I'm obsessed with peanut butter, first of all, and then second of all, I'm obsessed with cheesecake. So yes, I found a recipe for a keto low carb peanut butter cheesecake. So of course we made it last night. Look at that, look how beautifully that cut out. And while we have this over here, let's emboss. Let's do the embossing. So we're gonna put a little embossed piece on the top and we have to switch over. And I think that this might be too long. We'll see when we get there because when I shot my video today, it was too long and that's why I had to change that measurement on the PDF. Um, this is the basic polka dot embossing folder, which I think is a pretty lame name for something so cute. I don't know why they call it basic. Um, 
But anyways, you have to switch out to your regular Big Shot platform, and it's not one of our super thick ones, so you have to use both your clear plates, okay? I know, I was telling you a story, but I also have to teach you what I'm doing. So, peanut butter cheesecake, keto, right? It was amazing, and it was so amazing that I don't trust it and that I don't wanna eat it anymore because I don't think there's any way that it could be low carb, when I entered it into my fitness pal, it was like three carbs. And I was like, there's no way. It's so good. If you guys want the recipe, I'll give it to you. It is amazing. It really does depend on what products you use. You know, what kind of like a sugar substitute, what kind of peanut butter. But oh my gosh, it was good. My husband was like, holy cow. Even my daughters liked it. And they usually don't like when I, you know make healthy things but it was really good and, and all <laughs> it's sitting in the fridge you guys and it's calling to me you know how that is so I, I can't I can't make it again because it's too good all right see how this framelit cut right there it's short that's why this didn't come off well we're just gonna continue that little cut right there it was so good the crust was made of salted peanuts and butter and a little bit of the sugar substitute. <laughs> so it had a little bit of salt to it. Yeah, whoa. It was, you know, when they say, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It had a lot of that sugar substitute in it, which I think is probably the bad part. Okay, now you guys, you know how much I love my fine tip glue pen, right? And you know how I t tell you that I can't use it. Well, we're using it today. You could do um, the, what am I trying to say? The multi-purpose adhesive sheet. That's my favorite way to do this kind of stuff. But we're not going to be applying things to the bows and I didn't want them to just, you know, be sticky. So we're going with a fine tip glue pen and we're crossing our fingers that Erica doesn't get too crazy and makes a giant mess. Don't squeeze it, just tap it, and just a tiny bit of glue will come out. I'm telling myself. <laughs> okay, so now here are the pieces. I have listed the size of these little tiny pieces over on that PDF, okay? And I have to remember we're backwards. So we're gonna start Coastal Cabana here, and I'm just gonna very carefully lay it down, okay? And then we're gonna do lovely lipstick these are tiny pieces guys they're like three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch i mean you gotta look on the on the sheet to see all right now this one is a little bit too big i think i think i'm gonna have to trim this you've got to because they overlap a little bit that's really um why i prefer to use a glue dot on this i'm not a glue dot <laughs> <laughs> why I prefer to use a fine tip glue pen because then I can kind of slide things in and that's on the wrong place. I did that earlier today too. Okay, we're gonna flip it. That one actually goes there. That's why it was looking a little bit too big. And this one goes here. This is Granny Apple. This is a little tedious. I'm not sure I would do this kind of thing for a swap. You know, Laura, I do make a, a big giant mess typically when I use um, the fine tip glue pen. Now, let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I probably should pick this up, but I should have put a piece of paper down there. Urgh, I hate when I do that. Okay, I'm gonna take this and slide it, and then I'm just gonna set the clear blocks. You need a couple of clear blocks or your big clear block and just set it there, okay? Here's a couple of tips that I have found with this. For me, that works best for me. Don't squeeze it, never squeeze it. Just like tap it and just a tiny dot will come out and that's all you need. Um, less is more. Also, what I have found is that I, if I put the glue on there and then let it sit for a couple of minutes, well, not a couple of minutes, maybe like a minute, it becomes a little more tacky and less liquidy. So then if I will, you know, if I'm laying it down on something, I feel like it's less apt to slide around, which is how I usually make a mess because I put the glue on it and then I flip it around and it like, you know, does that. So if I let it sit, for a minute, maybe a minute and a half, let that, that glue get a little bit tacky. Um, it, it does better for me. The other thing that I've been doing lately is I put all the dots and then I take it over like on my grid paper and I do like that and then I pick it up 
And now most, you know, any of the bigger dots are gone. It's just a little layer of glue. And then I, and then I glue it down. Those are the things that have been working for me today or this week because I have been using this a ton. I will tell you guys what else I've been doing. Um, my second class for March was going to be the Happiness Blooms, but we won't, the, basically back orders. I'm concerned about having it in stock. So I'm skipping ahead to what I had originally planned. And my second class from March is the garage. Um, you know, the masculine stuff, the geared up garage. Oh my gosh, it is so awesome. So of course this is right where I need it not to be. So come on, slide over. Um, so anyways, my whole point of telling you that is that I've been using this on almost all the projects there um, and, it, and it works pretty good. So I'm having to really master it. For somebody who has a heavy hand, liquid glue is not always my friend, but it does come in handy with certain projects. Okay, Judy says she can get tiny dots from Tombow. Well, true, that's true. You can, you know, you can get tiny dots and you can use a toothpick. There's lots of, of ways, um, but I, I'm just bound and determined to make this work for me. All right, so you're gonna need thick, for the box, thick whisper white, eight and a half by seven. And we're gonna score the long side at one and a fourth, four, five and a fourth, and eight. Turn it to the short side and score the short side at one and a fourth, and five and three fourths. Now don't worry, it's all on the PDF. Pinkbiker.com, go over there and snag the pdf it's free my facebook friday pdfs are free guys save it print it do whatever you want so that you have those okay um i was gonna say something about that oh so let's talk about getting to a celebration product fifty dollars with this project in mind well, you're gonna need those colors of cardstock for one. So you might wanna add on a pack of the Brights cardstock, a multi-pack, Brights, boom. You're at $50 if you add it onto that bundle. Um, and the fine tip glue, guys, how much is the fine tip glue? It's $7, hello, you're there. So $45 for the bundle, $7 for the fine tip glue. Now what I'm doing here is cutting off, of, cutting off these end little corners. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and cut all of these score lines up to the horizontal score line. By the way, those of you who've asked about my daughter, she got braces on Tuesday and it's been pretty much what you'd expect. <laughs> she loved them at first and the first day wasn't so bad, which was Wednesday. And then yesterday she was crying a lot of the day. She's very sore, very unhappy. And she thinks that there are wires that are poking her that aren't supposed to, and she wants to go back and have them fix it, which, you know, you're like, are they? Or is that wire supposed to be there? I don't know. So she's very miserable. But I told her every day is gonna get a little bit better from here on out. So <sighs> fingers crossed. All right, see these two tabs right here? We're gonna cut these long ways, okay? And just about in half, it doesn't really matter um, because they're just gonna tuck in and create kind of a smooth edge there for your box. Now you're going to cut all of these, well not all of these, these three skinny tabs at an angle. That will help them go into your box much easier, okay, than if you try to leave them square. All right. Yeah, Vicki, she's my drama queen. My, I, I told you guys on Tuesday, she's, she's, <laughs> I love her so much. She's just so dramatic and everything is just, you know, life or death, but she'll survive. And I told her, you know, she's gonna have beautiful teeth when she's done. Of course, that doesn't really mean anything to her right now. All right, I put adhesive on the outside of these four square tabs and I'm going to fold up these sides like this. Fold up this side like that. There we go. All right, so then there's your box. We've made boxes like this. This kind of looks like your cream cheese box, right? If you buy cream cheese at the grocery store, very similar. Very similar in design. 
All right, now let's see, do I need to cut this down? I do believe I do need to cut it down. Let me grab my tiny paper cutter. And I fixed it on the PDF, so when you guys get it, it'll say, I believe it's supposed to be four and three eighths, and not four and seven eighths. And I'm just going for it. There we go. Hey, that was actually perfect. We're gonna put this on the box. Flush, just flat. Okay. She's been eating macaroni and cheese every night. She's very, oh, of course she loves macaroni and cheese, so it's not a big deal for her. She got ice cream of her choice, lots of yogurt. She said her friend had um, flavored wax and she has to have flavored wax. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know what's where flavored wax for your braces are, child. You're just going to have unflavored wax. <laughs> oh, you know, always comparing. All right, so I just put a little bit of Wink of Stella on those dots. I didn't want them to be plain. All right, let's look at our piece and see how it looks. Ooh, another tip I'm going to tell you. Pretty good. I need to trim this one. looks like it's a little bit high. If you get your glue... Um, where it's not supposed to be and it's showing through you can add wink of Stella right there and no one will ever know Isn't that funny I asked me how I know that because I make a mess of glue <laughs> all right so right there and I did make it a little bit longer which is fine let's put on some dimensionals I'm gonna put one here and one over here Oh, Tony, that's a great suggestion. All right, thank you. And natural anti-inflammatory. Hmm. Yeah, she's been taking ibuprofen, but yeah, you know, I remember Karen too having braces. I had braces what, for what seemed like five million years. And when you first get them, oh, it's just awful. All right, now I'm just gonna trim it because it was a tad bit too long. Make it even. There we go. Isn't that so cute? And I did pretty good with the glue, actually. I'm pretty impressed with myself, but you can just take your Wink of Stella and run it in there in those colored spaces. No problem. Now you won't see that glue because it's all sparkly. So don't worry. All right. Wink of Stella is, how much is Wink of Stella? $8. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm gonna say. Add it to the bundle and you've got a celebration item. Add all these things on and you're gonna have several free celebration items. All right, one last thing. We're gonna make this little banner if I can find my piece of card stock. We're gonna use a toothpick like this to make it like a little, um, a little banner, a little flag. And I, you can trim your toothpick real easily, but I'm just gonna stick it like that with a glue dot kind of coming out from those little presents. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Lovely Lipstick. I've been using Lovely Lipstick nonstop lately. It's somewhere in between pink and red and I love it. Those are my two favorite colors, pink and red. All right, now let's see if I can do it without smearing. Here's that punch I needed on the last project. We're just gonna make a banner. That's the Taylor Tag Punch that you can use on small pieces, it's really a lot easier um, than the banner triple punch. All right, dimensional, and we're gonna do kind of a faux flag. Look, it's not really stuck to the flagpole, but it looks like it is. All right, last little bit of goodness is a pineapple punch, one quarter inch grow grain ribbon. And I really, really love this ribbon because it doesn't really bulk up your project. You know, it's, it's little, it's tiny and it'll go right there let's see right there and there you have it so cute so you could make a little you know five or six of these and keep them in your desk at work and fill them with little Debbie treats whenever it's somebody's birthday or you could change the sentiment guys thanks thanks so much you know like a birthday party favor or congratulations like a graduation you could do the school colors there's a lot of ways you could use this. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I 
am really loving this bundle and I really hope that it carries over because it is a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Diverse. That's not the word. What's the word I'm looking for, you guys? I don't know. You know, you can use it for lots of things. All right, let me clean up just a little bit and I've got one more project for you. And I think it's my favorite, although I may have already said that. <laughs> I do think this next one is really my favorite. All right, now let's get my tray over here. This card features colored glimmer paper. Do you see that? That is Grapefruit Grove glimmer paper. Do we have Grapefruit Grove glimmer paper? Um, no, we do not. I'm going to show you how you can color your sparkle glimmer paper with any color. And then you can have colored glimmer paper. All right, let's do this. Let's see. We're going to do the glimmer paper first. Here it is. And what I have done, if you have not used a spritzer before, you are missing out. It's so fun and it really kind of becomes addicting. Stampin' Up! sells these in packs of two and they are $3. So really it's $1.50 each. You fill it with alcohol and then you put in about, I don't know, you guys, I don't count, 10 to 20 drops of reinker. You know, the thing that you reink your ink pads with. And usually you get ink all over your hands. So just fair warning. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm gonna do. You can mist all kinds of things with your mister. Um, the one thing to know, and I've mentioned this many times, is that you need a box, something to cover your, your desk, your shirt, your blinds, your cat, it will go everywhere, okay? So I like to get a deep box, put it in, and then just do that. And it doesn't, if you don't use a ton of of this, it will dry pretty quickly, okay? But I actually did one ahead of time. Yeah, I have it done. There we go. All right, so um, that's a really fun way to get more use out of your glimmer paper. I also wanna mention I'm using this Itty Bitty Birthdays. This is a great set in the Occasions catalog. And um, I'm using that because I just wanted one straight sentiment and the sentiments in our um, birthday cheer set are quite big. So that's what I'm using. I forgot to mention that before we got started. Okay, so let's see, where do I wanna start on this? There's so many things we're gonna do. First of all, I am using a Grapefruit Grove card base. And I have, remember last time we used the second largest stitch rectangle? This time we are using the largest, look at that. It fits that card front perfectly. And I'm gonna use dimensionals and I think I'm down to just the edges. <laughs> oh, my daughter was doing a project for me. She was making some tags for me that needed dimensionals and I handed her several sheets that look like this. And she was like, um, what do I do with these? I'm like, they're just regular dimensionals in weird shapes. She was very confused, she didn't like it but they work just as well. All right, so there's Grapefruit Grove. Um, this paper's back in stock, this gingham gala. It's awesome. We're gonna do, let me see, I'm just all over the place. I think we're gonna color first. Let's color first. This this stamp, this um, birthday present is big and bold, just like the hat that we just did. So you're gonna stamp it in memento black and just because I'm nervous that it's gonna smear I'm gonna hit it with a heat tool typically that only happens with yellow ink but I'm gonna use that light blue so let's just hit it with a heat tool for a second to make sure that it is set I don't want to shake the camera there we go all right the two colors I'm using for this our pool party, both light and dark, and then the light Calypso Coral. We do not have a Grapefruit Grove stamp and blend, but Calypso Coral is close. All right, I am using the brush end of my light pool party. I typically prefer, actually I'm gonna do this. You don't even have to worry because we're gonna color all everything but the tag. 
with pool party. So I'm just gonna do one big coating. I typically prefer to use the bullet tip, but when you are coloring a big area, the brush tip seems to be the better choice. Just gotta be careful. I usually get kind of wild and crazy with my brush tip and get out of the lines. So, go slow and focus. Now up here on the bow, I am going to only color in half of it with this light pool part. You'll see why in a little while. I'm gonna leave the top part white. All right, now I'm gonna go with my dark and I'm gonna color in those ribbons like that. We're gonna put several layers on those ribbons so they really stand out. And this time I'm using the bullet point. I stamped this on thick Whisper White, by the way, you guys. I prefer to color with my blends with my on thick Whisper White. All right, now let me switch back over here to this brush tip. I'm gonna go in and add some dark wherever we would have a shadow. So along the edges of this little tag. And then I'm gonna take the light and pull that color back out. Now I don't wanna to do too much. I feel like on this one I got a little too heavy handed. I want those ribbons, the ribbon on the um, present to stand out more. Well, I don't like that. Let's go all the way down. Um, there, that's better. I want the ribbons to be dark. So we're gonna keep adding some color, but be careful because it can start to bleed. So just little flicks and give it some time to dry. Now, let's put a little bit of dark here and just a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna take my light and pull it up and I'm gonna leave a sliver of white up there at the top of the bow. That's gonna give the illusion of light, that the bow is lighter at the top than it is the bottom. Okay, all right. Now with our Calypso Coral Light, we're just going to color in that heart. So cute. Now, fussy cutting again. Again, they didn't ask me my opinion when they were designing the framelits. I don't know, they didn't call, they didn't ask. But I would have told them, hey guys, add a framelit for the gift and the hat. They did for the cupcake, but I'm not using a cupcake. I think they were thinking, hey, this is pretty easy to cut out. You can do it, all right? Just like the hat. Use your smallest scissors. Don't try to use your big fabric scissors, guys, to fussy cut. You want little, little sharp scissors, okay? All right, so we've got that. Now let's make this. This is um, Grapefruit Grove, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut out this cupcake, the one with the, no, no, this one, the one with the heart. And I am gonna use my adhesive, multi-purpose adhesive sheet this time because we do want it to stick to um, the papers that we're gonna put on the back because that's all. We're not gonna have anything else, you know, the other edges. Now I've put it down between those two pieces of the adhesive sheet. If you're looking for these in the catalog, they are with the adhesives. All right, now, big shot time. We're also, did I, surely I didn't lose my tiny little scrap. Where did it go? I have a tiny, tiny little scrap of Flirty Flamingo. Oh no, we lost it. That's all right, we'll grab another one. Hmm, how weird. I'll find it after we're done with the video. Let me just grab another piece. Because all we need, we need a little piece of Flirty Flamingo, or you could do Calypso Coral for that heart right there, okay? All right, big shot down on the floor. I forgot where I put it. Hi, Dorothy, welcome. Could you color the glimmer paper with the blend? Absolutely, Judy. I have a downline that did that and it was awesome. It definitely was awesome. I think I would, um, you know, do it only every now and then because it's a rough surface on your blends. Um, but I think it would be okay. I think, you know, I know she did it and didn't have a problem at all. 
All right, there we go. Let's make sure, yep, looks like it cut. Now we've got to do that heart right there. Just the heart, and I cut smaller pieces of paper so that I'm not wasting a whole lot by cutting out, you know, the whole thing. All right, let's make sure we don't lose the heart. I'm gonna put it right there. Move this out of the way. Let's see, oh, I've got five minutes. I try to keep it to an hour, you guys. All right, now we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna cut, we're gonna follow the lines here of the cupcake. Here are those pieces that you could use also to fill in another cupcake, like we did on Tuesday. All right, now we've got this and, you know, we need that little piece of white. Well, good thing I have an extra piece of white because who knows what's happening. Everything's disappearing. All right, I'm gonna peel this off, the backing, so that it's sticky like a sticker. That's what the adhesive sheets do. It makes it makes your paper like a like a sticker. I'm going to lay it down on Whisper White just to that edge right there because I just want it to be the cupcake paper. All right, and then take your scissors. And I'm using my big scissors. It will be easier with my smaller scissors. Cut that out like that. And now we're gonna stick it to our glimmer paper. Now, I'm gonna make sure that it goes overlapping here because even though our new glimmer paper is awesome and adhesive sticks to it a little bit better, I'm gonna ensure that it stays where it's supposed to by overlapping the two back pieces and then putting a dimensional over them. All right, so they're stuck together. See how I just followed the outline of it? And now we have that cute, cute cupcake, that glittery cupcake. Hi, Terry, on lunch hour. Oh, well, thank you for spending your lunch with me. All right, fine tip glue pen. I have to put the pen back in so it doesn't dry. Boy, I've used that a lot lately, haven't I? All right, let's get this. This is the take your pick tool. You can pick that up set it down there we go so cute all right so we've got the cupcake we've got the present now let's do the sentiment remember the stamp is from a different set itty bitty birthdays and I am stamping it on a piece of whisper white that I cut out with those be mine stitch framelits that's another framelit that I seem to be using non-stop it's awesome those are the Valentine framelits, you know. Um, well, I call them Valentine because that's what we used them for in the beginning. But they're hearts and it has this beautiful stitched scallop border. All right, putting a dimensional there, putting that down there. Whoa, I'm way at the bottom, sorry. Right there. And then let's layer these guys up. We're gonna put a dimensional there. And this one's gonna be kind of wonky, like to the side. And then I've got one full dimensional left. See right here where these papers overlap, I'm gonna put that dimensional there. That's gonna ensure that they stay stuck together, even if for some reason that adhesive comes off of that glimmer paper, which it looks like it's stuck pretty good. And I'm gonna put that right there, so cute. Last thing, some share what you love pearls. Um, these are, I believe, Petal Pink and Grapefruit Grove, the two that I am using. And just a few like, you know, like confetti. Oh, come on. You have to make me look bad, pearls. You know how it goes. They're gonna make you look like, hey, we're not gonna do what you say. Let's put that one right there. There we go. What do you guys think? How cute. Think of the color possibilities. If you want to stick with this gingham gala paper, which again, add that onto the bundle and you're over $50 now and you get a free item. The colors in that are Lemon Lime Twist, Balmy Blue, Highland Heather, and tell me what's the other one? Highland Heather, Lemon Lime Twist, Balmy Blue, Grapefruit Grove, and I, I can't think of what it is. Blue, green, oh yellow, Daffodil Delight. <laughs> Daffodil Delight. 
What do you guys think? You love it? Thank you for the hearts. I do appreciate that. Uh, this is my favorite project of the three, hands down. I love it. So let's look what we made. Here is the rejected pineapple punch and the favored lovely lipstick and then the fun birthday box. Now you guys, if you put your order in by Monday night using your host code, this host code right here, I will send you three of these projects, these three make and take so you can make them yourself. Um, Susan, I don't know about notifications. Check your settings. Um, I don't get notifications anymore for any of the demonstrators. I'm sorry. You know, check your notifications and you know what? Message Facebook too. They are constantly making changes to Facebook. It's very frustrating. All right, you guys go over pinkbuckaroo.com and snag your PDF so you have the measurements and the products. And Next week, we'll be doing the second release celebration products, Tuesday at 2 o'clock and Friday at 2 o'clock. So I hope you'll join me again. I'm very, very excited for you to see those framelits in action next week. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. I have to run and get my daughter, um, but then I will look through and see if I missed any of your questions, okay? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye.